This is Dan Zilnick, president of Afara. I'm here in Toronto going for a walk and I figured I'd stop and record this week's 60 seconds of sustainability. This week, the clean tech community is going crazy as the largest direct air capture machine was started in Iceland. And the big question is, what is direct air capture? 60 seconds on the clock starting now. There are a lot of different gases floating around in the air around us all the time, nitrogen, oxygen, and of course, the one that we're concerned about the most, CO2. Direct air capture is the process of pulling CO2 directly out of the air instead of out of an industrial process and either storing that CO2 permanently or turning it into a product. Next question is, why is DAC a good idea? Well, DAC is a good idea if we're shooting for net neutral goals. Many countries in the world want to be net neutral by 2050, but they recognize there will be some emissions from the real economy, from flights, for example, from transportation, or certain things that they just cannot take the emissions out of. Direct air capture pulls the CO2 out of the air so we can get to net neutral, even if we can't be zero emissions from the real economy. Last question is why would people not want to do DAC? Well, there's two issues with DAC really. Number one is cost. It's extremely expensive most places in the world to do DAC, but we need to do lots of direct air capture in order to bring the cost of DAC down. The second issue is that it's not always a carbon benefit. In Iceland, it makes a lot of sense because they have carbon-free electricity, carbon-free heat, both of those things coming from underground, from geothermal. However, not everyone in the world is gifted with geothermal resources. In some places, the electricity that you need to run the DAC machine or the heat you need to run the DAC machine can produce more CO2 than the machine sucks up. So DAC makes sense if we can bring the cost down and if we can do it in places that are good places to do DAC, i.e. that the electricity or energy needed to run it is carbon free. Uh, I think a point worth considering, the DAC machine right now is 4,000 tons a year. Right now humans put out 51 billion tons of CO2 every year. So we need to scale this up in a big, big way for DAC to be a big contributor. See you next week, folks. Bye.